Raisins are dried grapes. This drying process concentrates both the nutrients and sugars present in grapes, making raisins nutrient and calorie dense. Raisins originated in the Middle East before making their way to Europe, where they were especially popular among the Greeks and Romans. Historically, raisins were used as currency, as awards in sporting events, and to treat ailments like food poisoning. Today, raisins are available at most supermarkets and come in different colors depending on the drying process used. Golden yellow raisins are commonly added to baked goods, while red and brown varieties are popular for snacking. Raisins are a nutrient-dense food that's minimally processed, with no added ingredients or preservatives. But they're also high in sugar and calories, so they should only be eaten in moderation. The burden of cancer continues to grow globally, but finding a cure for the disease still eludes medical circles. According to a meta-analysis, one food could stave off the deadly disease. Delays in cancer treatment caused by the pandemic have caused survival rates to recede for the first time in years. Higher intake of some foods has been linked to a higher incidence of cancer, but recently researchers have been striving to further their understanding of the inverse. Relations between food and cancer And a line of evidence has come to show that raisins could be key to staving off the deadly disease. An antioxidant named catechin present in raisins helps in protecting the body against the free radical activity that can cause tumors and colon cancer. Findings showed a lower risk for colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, or mortality from pancreatic cancer by 24%, 49%, and 65% respectively, which were associated with 3 to 5 servings of dried fruit per week. According to the Advances in Nutrition Journal, the associations were as good, or in some cases stronger than those observed for raw fruits. The journal stated, the data suggests that a higher intake of raisins and other dried fruits may be important in the prevention of cancer of the digestive system. The beneficial properties of these unique dried grapes and attributed to their high content of phenolic compounds. 30 grams of dried fruit counts as one portion of your five a day. Dried fruit should be eaten at mealtimes, not as a between-meal snack, to reduce the risk of tooth decay.